This, if you're a fan like me, you'll agree that powder is among the best sitcoms ever. So do you want to join me today? Grab a chair, sit by the campfire, and we'll live this great show together. We'll travel through the entire cast, past and present, reminiscing about those who have left us and celebrating those who still shine. Are you ready? Let's dive in and rekindle some incredible memories. Robin Bailey played the character Red vs. Potter in a sitcom when he was 64 in 1983. Sadly, on January 14, 1999, he left us due to respiratory failure at 79 in Wandsworth, London, England. We're deeply saddened by passing. <laughs> I haven't got a dog. You must borrow mine. No, I'm perfectly happy without a dog. What do you do for companionship? Fame carries very heavy obligations. I'm sure. I often wonder, you know, whether we writers have done enough to prevent... Brenda Colling played the character Jane in the sitcom when she was 54 in 1979. Sadly, on October 2nd, 2010, she left her due to a stroke at 85 in Northwood, London, England. We're deeply saddened by passing. <laughs> I can quite see that it isn't necessarily charming. It's just that, well, I used to splash about a little with watercolors. <laughs> really, how very tedious. Such so that I wouldn't have to get up to let you in. Well, I'm going to give you something far more efficacious than boiled sweets. Well, were they clear my tubes, Doctor? I could put these up for you. Terence Longdon played the character Enderby in the sitcom when he was 61 in 1983. Sadly, on April 23rd, 2011, he left us due to cancer at 88 in Oxford, England. We're deeply saddened by passing. Tall thing. Bigger than your dog. <laughs> <laughs> Look terrible. All of a twitch. No real appetite. Is that it? That's it, exactly. Well, I couldn't find it to start because I haven't been here for 30 or 40 years and I've come all the way from Gloucestershire. Noelle Dyson played the character Aileen Potter in the sitcom when she was 63 in 1979. Sadly, on June 29, 1995, she left us due to cancer at 78 in Witchcombe, Gloucestershire, England. We're deeply saddened by passing. Madge. How long are we going to play this silly game? Oh, God, he wants a divorce. <laughs> oh, well, I hate to see it untidy. Arthur used to attend to it practically every day. Is it a real wishing well? <laughs> Perhaps it is. Arthur Lowe played the character Red vs. Potter in the sitcom when he was 64 in 1979. Sadly, on April 15, 1982, he left us due to a stroke at his dressing room at 66 in Birmingham, England. We're deeply saddened by passing. <laughs> He's very artistic. Oh yes, yes, he made quite sure that everybody was well aware of that. It's amazing what an artistic reputation a man can get. So maybe, um, in, in, in hiding his own personality, there must be a certain amount of himself coming. Robert East played the character Herbie in the sitcom when he was 37 in 1980. See, at 80 years old, he's living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Porthcaw, UK. It's ready to use a bit of colour. Did you bring the bag in with the baby snappies? I can't... <coughs> now, what's wrong with you? Nothing. Uh, nothing. Why is... Her... And the Times crossword, too. <laughs> oh, I'm afraid that one's always been beyond me. <sighs> yes, I used to love it, but now completely stuck. Dave Hill played the character Man with Boat in a sitcom when he was 38 in 1983. See, at 78, he's living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Skipton, UK. Say anything. <laughs> what are you muttering at? It's very embarrassing. Try not to be offensive. You mean it might be dangerous? <laughs> Only if you get personal. <laughs> weeks before us. And we were unsure about Old School, you know. Oh, is this the right place, you know? And it certainly was, because we found out. John Barron played the character The Vicar in the sitcom when he was 59 in 1979. Sadly, on July 3rd, 2004, he left us due to illness at 83 in Watford, Hertfordshire, England. We're deeply saddened by passing. Oh, am I to be assailed by bells? Oh, yes, he's in. <laughs> he's a bit dear. Sir, have you time for a round? Yes, a short one. Go ahead. Michael Ripper played the character Commissioner in the sitcom when he was 66 in 1979. 
Sadly, on June 28, 2000, he left us of natural causes at 87 in London, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. Manager's car, sir. Oh, indeed. Coming the heavy Teutonic, is he? Where does he think he is? Occupied Poland? <laughs> the impression he was English, sir. Born and bred. David Jackson played the character Fredakovich in the sitcom when he was 46 in 1980. Sadly, on July 25, 2005, he left us due to a heart attack at 71 in London, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. There was one thing that really teased me off. It's some midget going... <laughs> ...with his finger. Put your cap on. Harry H. Corbett played the character Harry Toombs in the sitcom when he was 55 in 1980. Sadly, on March 21st, 1982, he left us of a heart attack at 57 in Hastings, is a sex England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. Stop prancing about, let me in! I'm, I'm a changed man, Fuhrer! Ever since I got this arthritis, I knew where I really belonged. <laughs> Sidney Tuffler played the character Harry Toombs in the sitcom when he was 63 in 1979. Sadly, on November 8, 1979, he left us due to cancer at 63 in Richmond upon Thames, Surrey, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. A ball out of a bunker, remember? So big deal. For moving a few inches, you have to come round with a vicar. <laughs> For moving one lousy ball. Pearl Hackney played the character Mira in the sitcom when she was 64 in 1980. Sadly, on September 18, 2009, she left us of natural causes at 92 in Hunbei, United Kingdom. We're deeply saddened by passing. Was... Smile, damn it. <laughs> don't want any arguments this time. Then stand up to him for once. Don't let him boss you about. I always stand up to him. <laughs> okay, let's chat. Who is your favorite character in Potter? Please comment and share interesting things below this video. And as always, show some love. Hit the like button, subscribe to know more, and hit the bell to never miss my new content. I can't wait to create more wonderful memories with you. Thanks so much and stay tuned for more. See you again as soon as possible.